Hello, it's Mike here from MusicRadioCreative.com. Now, I've had a submission here from Wobbly Sausage, who would like me to make a Wobbly Sausage radio jingle. Well, I can do, and for some inspiration, I've actually bought a, a Wobbly Sausage into the studio with me. So I'm just going to hold it with me as I record this voiceover. Are you ready? Let's do it in Adobe Audition now. Wobbly Sausage. Wobbly Sausage. Wobbly Sausage. Wobbly Sausage! Okay, that's done. Uh, now let's stop that recording and just tighten up that uh, little bit of voiceover and drop it into the multi-track. Now, how do you make this sound huge? I.e. maybe go from a mediocre voiceover to a really huge voiceover. Well, I'll show you exactly how I do that. There you go. You see it's on track one. Going to add my magic processing to track one. And then I'm going to add a final effect, uh, which of course is in modulation. It's the flanger. And I think I'll go for something that's got a real stereo effect to it, like... Um, Let's go for the vocal flange. Now, here's the trick. You'll hear this just with the flange. Wobbly sausage. Wobbly sausage. Wobbly sausage! Now, you'll see there that the flange sounds exactly the same from start to finish. But here's a little tip. Drop down this arrow here and you get a whole new feature. Uh, this is where you can automate effects. And if you go into the various different options, you'll notice all the effects that are in your effects rack, including the flanger that I dropped in last, appear suddenly. So let's go for one of the effects. You can change any effect in your flange, which is amazing, and make it different over time. I think I'm going to go for the feedback because that will be quite um, audible to your ear or audible. <laughs> Well, however you say that word. Right, let's go um, from, say, a really low 0% right the way up at the end to be at 100%. So the wobbly sausage should grad gradually increase. Let me actually mix those closer together so they kind of mix. And it'll reach a climax at the end. So here we go. Let's, let's have a listen to how this sounds now. Wobbly sausage. Wobbly sausage. Wobbly sausage. Wobbly sausage! And you see how the feedback gradually increased over time. Uh, now I'm just going to mix in some effects. So let's head in here and drag something in. That'll do nicely. And uh, bear in mind that our effect is there. It starts there. So I can't move the audio on track one about what? now. Otherwise, it's going to well change the rule that I've set up there. So let's just pop that in there. Pop that in there. And find another effect that we like. Or maybe a bit of music would what? do. That's going to do it. Let's uh, drop that in. It's asking me to convert the sample rate there because it's recorded at a different sample rate. Okay, line that up nicely, and I think we're good to go. Now I'm just going to find how that music bed ends. That could be quite fun. And let's just drop it in. Sometimes things work, sometimes things don't, but that's the whole beauty of audio production. It's just trial and error to get things to sound right. Let's see exactly how that's going to Sausage. Wobbly sausage. Okay, that's going to be good, I think, for a quick radio jingle that goes from good to massive very quickly. And finally, one last thing I've noticed is this goes on a bit too long, so let's aim for that to end at the same time as that music bed ends. Are you ready? Wobbly sausage, here's your jingle. Wobbly sausage. Wobbly sausage. Wobbly sausage. Wobbly sausage. Wobbly sausage.